Say what you're going to say. Say it. Say what you said. That's the basic structure of every blog article you've ever read. I learned that recently from a colleague of mine, Megan Grant. That was the simplest explanation I've ever heard, so thank you. But why should you even start a blog? Well, maybe you want to use it to get a better job, maybe you want to document your learning journey, or maybe you just want to share your knowledge. I'm currently a senior developer advocate for MongoDB. I got this job because of the content that I created online. Creating written, audio, or video content adds to your resume. It will open up more doors for you than you can even imagine. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating your first blog article. I'm going to talk about blogging from a developer's perspective, but all of the information and tips will work for any topic or niche. So even if you're not a developer, keep watching. One of the best ways as a developer to get eyes on your article is by using Hashnode, which happens to be the sponsor of this video. Hashnode has everything you need to start blogging as a developer. You can host your blog on Hashnode for free. No ads, no pop-ups, no paywalls. Or if you have an existing blog, you can cross post to Hashnode easily using their import tools for Medium, Dev2, bulk markdown files, and RSS feeds. But why would you even want to do that? Well, to take advantage of the platform's built-in discoverability. Now, especially if you have zero audience, you should start a blog on Hashnode. When you publish an article, Hashnode shares it with their community members. These readers are directed to your website to read and interact with your content. You can get a free subdomain on Hashnode or use your own custom domain. The content is always yours to do with as you please. It's not exclusive to Hashnode. You can export your articles at any time. So what are you waiting for? Start your new Hashnode blog today. The link is in the description below. But one of the hardest things to figure out is what to write about. Understanding your audience will help. What issues are they facing? What can you help them with? Be sure to pick a topic that you're passionate about, even if you don't know everything about it. Do research. One of the greatest things about writing is learning. You learn so many new things because you have to research topics in order to make sure that you're conveying the information correctly. And you might think that everything has already been written. A topic may have already been written about, but not from your point of view. The way that you write about a subject may resonate with readers. And if a subject has already been covered, don't be shy to write about it anyway. Try to find additional details or substance that others haven't included. Now that you've picked a subject, the first thing to do is to pick a title. This can also help you to validate the idea by doing some keyword research. Use Google Search Autosuggest, Answer the Public, or Uber Suggest to find out what people are searching for. And once you've found your keyword, fit them into a catchy title. Here are some suggestions. How to, the secret of, the most effective way to, and lists are great. X ways to, X reasons you should, X amazing. Your title is something everyone will read. They may not read your article, but they will read the title. It has to catch their eye and make them want to read on. Now onto the actual writing. Let's go back to the beginning of the video. Say what you're going to say, say it. Say what you said. You should start by saying what you're going to say. This would be called an intro, I call it a hook. This is where you want to concisely convey what you're going to cover in the article in a way that entices the reader to continue. Whet their appetite, give them a reason to keep reading. In the body of the article is where you're going to say it. I like to start with an outline where I write down the main topics, these will be the headings. Then I break those down into any relevant subheadings and then I start writing the actual content. Now make it easy to read by writing short paragraphs breaking up long sentences, and making good use of subheadings. You should try to limit your paragraphs to five or six lines max, and try to eliminate as much fluff as possible, but still keeping to your personal style and personality. And be sure to link to any references that you used. This adds to the credibility of your article. Also use images and GIFs to spice things up. Humans are visual, so make the article appealing by breaking up the text with illustrations or images. There are lots of sites to find free stock images, many that don't even require attribution. One that I like to use is Pixabay. The conclusion is where you'll say what you said. Briefly overview what you talked about along with any final statements. I recommend that you title the section conclusion. Don't get fancy with it. A lot of people skip to the end and if they like the conclusion, then they'll go back up and read the article to get the details. Now, a great tip here to help with audience interaction is to end with a question. 
this will leave it open for your reader to take action and leave a comment. Now we already talked about posting your blog to Hashnode and I think that you should definitely start there. But obviously you wanna get your articles in front of as many viewers as possible. So I would also recommend cross-posting to other platforms like Dev2 and there are many others. Now the great thing is that once you've already written your article, it's super easy to post elsewhere. Another option is to create your own blog site. As developers, sometimes we might think that we're obligated to build our blog site ourselves. I understand, and I thought that at first too. Something that I wish that I had learned early on is that it's not always best to start from scratch. In development, nine times out of 10, the thing that you're looking for has probably already been built. So why not take advantage of what others have built? I'm gonna leave you with a few bonus tips before I close out this video. Having a niche is incredibly helpful to getting your content discovered. Let's take the example of web development. This is a very broad niche. You could narrow this down to something like JavaScript. And this is a lot less broad, but it's still a pretty massive topic. We could narrow this down even further to a framework like React, Vue, or Angular. This is even more narrow. We could even go a step further and focus on something very specific like SEO. The more narrow your niche, the easier it is to become an authority on the subject and your articles will be promoted more and more. And with content creation of any kind, you're trying to build an audience to consume your content. You have to be consistent. Make a goal to write an article every day, week, or month. Whatever fits your schedule, then the key is to stick to that goal. Now the goal can change over time, but remain consistent in order to keep your audience engaged. Now you may get discouraged at first if no one is reading your articles. It takes a lot of time to build up momentum. If you remain consistent, each article will have a compounding effect. Every article will increase your reach and viewership, so hang in there. Now there's no exact formula to create viral content, but that is the goal. And to help with this, try to create content that can be referenced. This will prompt people to share it. Make your article unique and interesting. Include stats that are hard to find. Create unique images, illustrations, or code snippets that convey a message on their own. You want people to share the URLs for these, which will bring more viewers to your article. My last tip is, in my opinion, the most important. You should start building an email list now. You can have a large following on any social media network, but what happens if one day your account is deactivated for whatever reason, or maybe the network just disappears? You now have no way to communicate with that following. You never owned those connections. The platform did. An email list is something that you own. You have control over it. You choose when, how, and what to communicate with that audience. It can never be taken from you. And one of the easiest ways to build an email list is by using Hashnode. They actually have a built-in newsletter feature that, again, is completely free. So use Hashnode to start building your list today. If you're thinking about creating content, articles, videos, streaming, podcasts, whatever, just do it. Believe in yourself and start today. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this.